Good day, beauties. Hi. <laughs> it's been a while that I uh, I showed my uh, my face on social media, um, and today I'm riding the motorbike around this uh, this beautiful island, and I'm I'm feeling inspired to share a little bit of my experience of living in a jackfruit rich jackfruit hanging on the tree a jackfruit rich um, semi animistic slash Hindu very traditional culture as someone who's grown up you know in the Netherlands which is a hyper modern hyper transactional um, hyper optimized culture that has largely lost touch with its um, family units um, with its innate connections to true community and the hardest part about living in Bali for the last 11 years has probably been facing and owning up to that um, what I see as a distorted uh, worldview that we grew up with in the West and uh, and dealing with all of the frustrations and lessons that I've been learning um, and, and still being here celebrating 11 years today uh, in this culture and of course at the base hugely grateful to the Balinese for their their natural sense of patience and understanding and flexibility that has allowed this culture to probably be the most open and welcoming yet still traditional culture in the world today that are succeeding to keep vast parts of their culture alive and kicking under enormous international pressure. So I uh, take this uh, virtual hat off to the Balinese for that and, and really hugely grateful to, to this land and all of its lessons. Um, the thing I bump into the most, and I see this in myself as I see it in others who are arriving newly on the island and wanting to actually live here. So, so living in Bali, which is to say living in the village, uh, creating a, a livelihood here, perhaps running a business or you know projects, what, what, what I'm doing here, um, engaging with the local community. It's very different from living down south um, in a service department, you know, because that's basically long-term tourism. But when we have a calling to really live on this island, you know, sooner or later, the, the Balinese will stop smiling at us and they will get more serious and more... Um, into a sense of, all right, so you want to be part of this? Let's see what your place is. And, and actually, I'm still figuring that out today. Like, what is my place in this ecosystem of Bali? And every day I'm facing small obstacles that are showing me where I'm still not optimally fitting in. And to be more concise when it comes to that, um, let's, just, let's just face the fact that in the West, um, in the modern West, we grow up we grew up with an overbearing government that basically takes care of all of your needs, like it or not. They pick up your rubbish. They largely pay and fund and, 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 and influence your entire schooling system from, from kindergarten to your university. Um, we are completely conditioned through that schooling system to a much larger degree than what's happening in Bali. Of course, all of that is changing and it's modernizing there too, but... <sighs> We become incredibly entitled in such a way to think that there is a paternal force that we call the government that's always taking care of us. When we're homeless, they will offer us a home. When we're jobless, they will try to find us a job. When we're cashless, they will shoot us some cash. In most of these modern societies, when the road breaks, it will be fixed. Again, your rubbish will be picked up. You don't know where it's going. And Bali is very different when it comes to that because pretty much on the whole island. The villagers are taking care of those needs for themselves. They're dealing, for better or worse, with their own waste management, uh, which of course has got a lot of problems now. Um, when the road breaks, they fix it themselves. When they have an issue, they'll get together and fix it. And that is very different from the way we grow up. Um, one thing that I see in myself and other Westerners is a sense of entitlement. Where we're being raised in a, in, a, in a way that we, we think the, the world revolves around us and we can have anything we want. And of course, to some extent, there's truth in that. And there's beauty in that. But on the other hand, it, 
it also leads, especially when we arrive in traditional cultures like that, it leads to, to some issues because it's, it's essentially very individualistic mindset and a very selfish mindset to believe that the whole world revolves around us because we have lost touch with that sense of care and family unit that is still so prevalent in, in, in Bali. And I noticed that, that here, honor and respect and the very small things that seem to be meaningless to us in the West, they matter the most here. They matter the most. And we, we learn thick and fast living here uh, how important they are. And one can really upset the balance in their own life and in the life of people around them by just saying one wrong thing to one wrong person because it seems like living in the village everyone and everything has ears to listen and it's been incredibly frustrating for me in many regards but it's also been incredibly enlightening and ultimately it's been setting me free largely of a lot of this um, false entitlement and also just a deep misaligned disconnected understanding of the natural world um, essentially recognizing that in the West we live in a in a really well polished industrial farm and here in a place like this we can still be free-ranging animals in a semi-wild forest so to speak especially when we grow a lot of fruit trees around us and in, in a very sort of natural way start taking care again of our of our immediate wants and needs such as shelter and food which is entirely possible here and the pandemic showed that when you know uh, the economy collapsed here and people had no money the way they responded to that was very different from the West and most people here were not faced by it and just lost their job and started a little food business on the side and just went on with life and returned home to their families and started planting a few more bananas again and and really came back it was really easy to, to spring back from that whilst in in the West of course it was mayhem because yeah yeah you know where I'm going with this so I think we can learn so much from these traditional cultures and I think there's a great opportunity now as a lot of these cultures around the world are opening up more and more actually for us to be able to visit and interact with them to, to be mindful of the way we have been conditioned and to not come in there with an attitude of an, an aid worker that knows everything better and that's here to fix things and sanitize and sterilize the place and optimize it for the next corporate train to march in and, and, and pave the way clean for a corporate takeover, but instead to recognize the power of what's called Desa Adat here in Bali, the power of village, the power of self-sufficiency and the beauty that, that you can't just walk in and develop, you know, like boundlessly in a place like this, that there is a governing force that's not of government that is uh, very subtly and quietly keeping things balanced and that force is underneath. Yeah, again, that force is called Adat here in Bali and I believe every traditional culture around the world has that force and again, we have lost a lot of that force in the West. Of course, we have some of that still left too. It's our family bonds, it's our bond to the land, it's our pride. It's the way that not everything is for sale. It's the way we do things from the heart. It's the way we, we show up for each other. It's the way we need each other so much and it's through you know hardship and struggle that we get together and become even closer so I welcome more hardship I welcome more struggle because it will keep forging our bonds to get closer together and actually what I find for myself is the the less I rely on those outside structures and the more I come to terms with the beauty of community and um, and all of its virtues and, and difficulties that deep down inside the happier and more fulfilled that I feel in this world today. So I hope this was helpful for you, uh, this video to, to, to perhaps recognize some of that in your own life and um, either case, as always, feeling the love and sharing with you from this beautiful island. Grateful for another day in paradise. Om Shanti 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 Om.